Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Now if you look at the front of the screen, you see a question and we are told to replicate this drawing in isometric, right? Now if you look at this drawing very well, let me make it a bit bolder. You discover that this diagram you are seeing here, the entire length is 50 the width is 20 and the height is 45 plus 25 because this is radius that means from here to here is 25 25 plus 45 will give us what 70 so i mean that if you are drawing isometric we have something like this we have an inclined axis this way right so here is 20 here is what 50 and the entire height is what 70 so this is what we'll do now when you're given an asymmetric the first thing you should do is this you draw your inclined axis at an angle of what 60 30 30 degrees so the first thing i'll do i will draw my vertical line right then i'll also draw the horizontal this way right and I will turn it this way. Turn it this way to draw the other aspect also this way. So if you are giving an equation isometric, you need to draw your two inclined axes, knowing fully well that what they are both inclined at what 30 degree. So it means the angle between here and here is 30, the angle between here and here is 30. With what I showed you earlier, I said the entire length of a figure is 20 right so i'm going to measure 20 so this will be my reference point point zero so i start taking my measurement from here so this will be 20 i'll measure from one from zero to two is 20 right you can see that and also i'll take the other measurement from here also which is what which is 50 you look at your top corner you realize that this is 50 here so from here we say from 0 straight down to 50 right and the entire height is 70 so i'm going to measure 70 from 0 i'm going to take it up to what to 70 so this is 70 here now, after I've done that, let me remind you how I got this 20, 50, and 70. This is what I did. Now, this is the 20 I talked about. This is the 50. Because if you put your rule here, this way, you discover that this is the 30, 30, right? Then, this inclined axis here is 20, here is 50. And the total height is 25 plus 45 because of this radius that is 70. So this is what I did that I have this. You can see that. So what I'll do is I will take my T square, my C square, and I'll place it on my T square this way. So let me zoom this up a little bit. And I'll draw the vertical line up. You can see that. I'll come to the other point also. I'm going to draw the vertical line up. You can see that? Now, in doing that, where they meet, this is point again. I'm going to repeat the same thing I did here. I'm going to do it at this point. So, I'll move my T square to that point. And I'll just draw my horizontal line this way. You can see that? So, we know very well that. I place it at this point. I had my 30 30, so I'll place it at this point also so that I can get my 30 30. So from here is 30, and also I'll turn it this way around also from this point also is 30. This point here, right? So in doing that, this vertical line should touch here. Just like what we did earlier right 
Sur ce touch J. Je touch J. Right? Now, at this point also, no, at this point also is another point, right? Just like this point is a junction. I'm going to do the same thing also. I'll take my rule at that point. I will draw another horizontal line. So at that point, I'm going to do my 30. Now this is 30, right? I'll turn my rule this way again. And I'm going to have another 30. So this is another 30 here. This way. You can see that? So the next thing is this is where they meet also. I can just take my rule to that point, that junction again. I'll draw another horizontal line to draw my 30 30. So if I place it here, I have a uh, 30 this way, and I also have 30 the other way, right? But I don't really need the other way. So in the long run, I've carved out a box. Now you fully aware that in isometric, we have angle 30 in all the lines I'm drawing is what? At an angle of what? Angle 30 degree. Yeah, also 30 degree throughout. So we've done that. Now the next thing, if you look at your diagram, let me show you a bigger picture of it. You discover that from this base here to at least a height of 45, I'm going to thicken it round. So let me first measure my height of what 45. So I'll get the center of this. Let's do that and see. From this point, I'll measure 45 height. So this is 4 and this is 45 here. That again. So at that point, that is 45. I'll repeat the same feet. An angle of, draw my horizontal line this way. Then take my C square, what I did here, did here and did here. I also did at that point. So just place it here and the inclined axis here will need is for 30 degree. I'll just draw it to this point. This is 30. I'll come here also. Do another one again. This is another 30. Right? So at this point, I believe it's another 30 again. I'll do the same thing. I'll take my C square of my rule. I'll draw a horizontal axis here, right? I'm going to do 30, 30. So this 30, I'll do it and I will extend to the center so much. I'll turn it so around again. This is another 30, but I don't need it, so I'll leave it. So at this point where they meet, I'll do another horizontal line again. It's just repeating the same process. And I'm going to draw 30 here. This is 30, where they meet this line. Then this is another 30, but I don't really need it because it's going out of the box. So why I want you to understand this, you don't actually you do all this, it's just a basic understanding of it. That all the lines I'm drawing are inclined on what 30 degree and what a 90 degree. So I'm going to take in all this. So you take in from here. I'll take in all those this from here. I'll take in this from here to this point. You can see that? I'm also taking from here to here. Then I'm also taking from here to here. I'm taking from here to here also. I'm also taking this point too 
right so this is what i'll do first right with this point i'm taking now if you discover there is an arc at this point here the kind of the arc then we look at the top corner you discover that at the top of this there's what a curve right so i want to draw that curve so what i will simply do is that i'll get the center of this distance we know from the beginning that if you look at the top right corner discover that from here to here is 50 right so half of 50 is 25 so i'll just measure that 25 from the beginning here this 50 right so i'll measure 25 this is 25 here if you start from here 0 10 20 25 now i'm going to draw the vertical line this way so I'll place it here and i'll draw the vertical line like this can show that the line cuts here now when the line cuts here what i'll simply do is i'm going to take my compass i'll place it at this point at, at this point to this point should be the same as this point to this point you can see that you can see that so if it's just if that is the case then i'm going to cut up and i'm also going to work to cut down also this way that again i'll cut up and i'll also work cut down so what i'll simply do there is i'll take my comp my t square and my set square this point is like this point you also do the same thing here the line you are drawing will be parallel to all the line are this will be parallel to each other so i'll do the same thing with my um set square i will draw my 30 here right that is 30. i'll come up here also where it, where it is here i'll draw another word another 30 at that point you can see that this point here not this one now in doing that now if you look at from this point from this point to this point is shorter than from this point to this point so i'll just draw my diagonal line here the diagonal from here to here you can see that let me zoom it up so you see what i'm trying actually trying to unveil to you so from here to here i'll draw my diagonal line this way you see now it's just like i'm drawing my isometric circle here now from this point here i'll draw the line to touch this point right I draw the line to touch that point so from here let's see this is the metal rule so from here i draw the line to touch the top point here i have this this way that line i also draw the line from here to touch the top point here you see with this i'm also having sorry to touch the top point here, going here. I'm also having this. So this to touch the top point here and here. Now the intersecting with this inter the diagonal line here, which is this, and what and this. These two diagonal lines that is where they are intersecting. So I will now take my um, compass. That I'm going to use to connect both of them together now placing my compass at this end here right I'll take it to this end here see that again I'll take it to this end here and I'm going to draw my arc that will touch here see that again We do this and we have in this. You can see that that is the first one. Then after I've done that, I'll place it at this point here and I'll gauge it to this point. Do this. 
and I'll get you to this other point here. So, so this is what we have here. Now, the next one is to do the one behind. So how would I do the one behind? It's as simple as this. You know, this is where the, all the points start from. So I can just trace this to this point, like this. I'll trace this to this point with the help of my test square. Right? I just have this to this point, faint line. And I'm going to connect it. Since this is connected to this last point here, automatically this will be connected to this last point here. You can see that and also since i have a point here i'll just trace my use my c square and t square and trace this point this point here same here i'll trace it to this point this traced to this point right so and i'll trace this also from this point use that point on this diagonal I'll trace it to this point also. So I'm using my t square and my c square. So in doing that, just like I have this point to this point here, I also just bring this down from here. I'll just bring it down to straight line, this line down, and I'll trace this point to that point. I'll trace this point to that line I drew down. So if I do that. This is line here, right? So this is the line here. So I've gotten to the point I want. So what I would just simply do is that I'm going to take this point here, which is like this point here. I'll place it here, and I'm going to draw an arc, right? I'm going to draw an arc this way. But before you do that, before you do that, you know this is the center of this um, this structure here. Now I'll just get that center too. This is the center here. So this will be like my reference point. So I'll just take my compass, place it at this diagonal center here. Then I'll gauge it from here. So it will just touch this here. This way. Can you see that? Now I'll take it to this point I traced from here to here. I'll place it at that point. Now I'll take it to this point also. Now gauge it. Right? So engaging it, I'll have this. Can you see that? So you gauge it. Again, to gauge it. So, when you've done that, you just take your rule and connect this diagonal to this diagonal here. You can see that. Now we have this first, and we've got in our structure. So this is all what we have here. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.